Hey, what's going on, people? Mr. Silva Decals here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom decal sticker from any image. Any image you can find on Google or any other website, you, whatever image you like. For the people who don't know me yet, I make videos about making vinyl decals and the different ways to make money selling vinyl decals so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do it now so you'll be up to date on the videos i post every week so the first thing we gotta do is to search for the image let's say um, we want to search for Pitbulls, See, pitbull image. Then we have to narrow the search and go to image. And as you can see, there's a different bunch of pictures of really nice looking pitbulls. But this is not what we want. We want some vector kind of image or black and white kind of image so we can create create our decal so we're gonna add to the search vector now we have a bunch of nice black and white vector kind of images so we're gonna pick one of this image and we're gonna work on our design for our custom decal. Let's say we're gonna we want to pick this image. So we right click and then save image as and then we have to give it a name and uh, find a folder to save our image okay so we're gonna save this image as uh, people face and we're gonna save it on this folder as jpeg image okay so now we open our software the whatever cutting machine software we have in my case i have a, a silhouette cameo so i open my silhouette studio now we go ahead and uh, open our image so we're gonna go and find the image where we save our pitbull image and here it is we open it Well, the size of this image is, is not bad and uh, it doesn't really matter because once we, once we select and trace the image, then the software automatically uh, will enlarge or shrink the image whenever it's possible it's like it's like if we are vectorizing the image it's as uh, simple as that so we gotta go and uh, select the image we go to the tracing area to the tracing menu and then we select trace area 
and then select the image again and then if you check all the highlighted part of the image if the one that's going to be actual that's going to be actually cut so we can play around with these values here and so it it covers a little bit more or a little bit less so whatever the final result we we want for me right now is it's good enough so once you have all the adjustment you just go and hit trace so now you have the image and you have uh, the software already create the the cutting lines for this image so you take the image out and then you just have uh, these cutting lines that's, that are the one that we're gonna use so we remove this one and now we can play with these cutting lines and adjust the size as we as we want it so as i mentioned before this is this is similar to vectorize an image so we are ready to print our decal this is all all at all it takes and then we go to send And after that, we are ready to send it, this image to the cutting machine and make the decal. And it's, it's as easy as that. You can, you can do this with any image, almost any image, because there's some images that have so many small details that it can be a little tricky to do it. but. This is the way you take any image from Google or whatever image you like and make your own deco. All right, people. So this is this is it for today. And uh, remember to subscribe and uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And uh, see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.